LSD review for um, the two top of the line, well, two handheld top of the line uh, Ego battery battery blowers. Um, we've been using this one now, the 5800, for around two whole seasons, so about two years with this one. And we've literally just been lucky enough to get one of these. These, this is the new Ego uh, LB7650. E. Um, it's it's basically this one in a nutshell, but with a few more, um, in my in my opinion, a few more design improvements and a little bit of extra power. Um, and when you're leaf blowing, extra power is always something that you could do with, um, as you probably guys know that as well. Um, I'll go over this one first. This is the uh, the, the original. Um, this has got 580 CFM, which is still really impressive uh, for any battery blower. Um, it's got a really nice cruise control on the side. Um, really quiet. I think this one is 95 decibels, so pretty quiet for a battery blower as well. Um, they're designed really well, these Ego blowers. We've used other brands. Um, they just haven't really got the runtime or the power, really. Uh, but this one we found that it, it's got both. It sits really nice. Um, it's got a really easy variable speed trigger um, and a turbo button, which is very, very easily pressed. Uh, they both come with two different nozzles. Um, both come with a round nozzle and a flat nozzle. However, uh, we, we haven't actually used the EVA nozzle. Um, I've done a bit of testing and found out that I think that the nozzle's only on there to sort of help improve, to keep the noise down. But um, I, I prefer a shorter, I don't want to blow this too long because when you're waving it around, you sometimes hit the floor with this part. So uh, I, don't, I don't really like that, but I find that the shorter the blower, basically, the uh, the more control you've got over it. Um, they've both got a really nice uh, support support foot at the bottom, um, especially handy sometimes. You can just hold it like that when you're blowing to the side. That's always handy. Uh, they both come with this hook on it. I've never uh, really actually found out what that's for. I'm not really quite sure what that's for, but uh, anyhow, uh, a really nice quick button to release the battery. Um, slots in there nicely and, and sits pretty pretty well. Um, so this is I think this has got about 16 newton meters um, of power, which is 580 cfm. Um, the 5 amp battery, which I've just used here as a demo, and that gives you I think it's uh, about 30 minutes runtime um, on its highest setting. That's without turbo engaged. Um, if you've got turbo engaged, I think it gives you about 20 minutes, um, which is still really, really good. Sometimes you don't always need um, to be using turbo because the power of the of the, of the full pelt is pretty is pretty good as it is. But um, I think with, with that 5 amp battery, it probably weighs about six kilogram, um, which is nothing really. Um, so all in all, we've been really happy with these. Um, found them really really powerful, runtime's great, um, pretty bulletproof to be honest. Um, but obviously when a new tool comes out you want to purchase it don't you? So uh, this is their new one. Um, really really impressed with this. They basically changed on it everything that everything that I could afford with on this one they basically put on this um, which is second to none really is brilliant. Um, this is the Ego LB7650. Um, well, it retails only at about 20, 30 pound more than this one does. Um, and for the extra power and, and the more comfortability of it, it's, it's a no-brainer. Um, so we bagged a couple of these. Um, we still use these ones from time to time, um, especially when we've got more than more than one blower out. We can sort of, if you've got enough batteries, you can sort of have them both going at the same time. But um, been really really impressed with this. This is 99 decibels so it's a little bit louder um, but obviously with more power comes more uh, noise basically as everyone knows. 
Um, I just want to show you, this is, uh, if I put the 5 amp battery in here, um, that's how it sits normally. Um, I just want to go back to this one a sec. One of the, the things that we didn't like about this was if you put a bigger battery in it, it doesn't actually stand up on the stands. You can see at the, at the back, back of it, it's got support feet here. Um, and the new one, they've completely redesigned it. it, it rather than sitting longer and narrow, it sits shorter but wider. Um, and what that does is it allows you to, there you go, look that one, it just falls over. You can take a 5 amp, but anything bigger than a 5 amp, it just flops over. And when you're putting it on the ground, that's the last thing you want. So that's 10 amp, that's probably that's the second biggest, well, it is the biggest batch they do, because the 12 amp that they've just bought out is the same size as that. Um, so it sits real nice. As you can see there, it sits nice. Um, doesn't move at all. So the redesign and restructure of them feet really help it keep it firm on the ground. Um, so job done there from Ego. Uh, again, it's got this hook. I'm not really quite sure what that's for. If, if you hook on your belt, I don't know. I've never used that. You could probably just take a screwdriver and take that off, really. Um, but yeah, the main, the main, one of the main things that we didn't like about this blower was the fact that it just falls over. And now this one sits really cool. Um, don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's got a few more green accents to it. Obviously, the feet are green. Um, the fan in there has got a, a nice green cover to it. The, the switch to take the, the, the tube off is green. Um, so it's just a, a an all-in-all -all better designed machine I think um, this one probably weighs about nearly I'd probably say nearly seven kilograms and um, obviously depending on what battery you use without the battery I think it's about three which is absolutely nothing as light as a feather um, using a bigger battery can sometimes help the recoil because when you when you fire it up it wants to push back on you but if you've got a bigger battery it keeps you more stable um, which is another good thing obviously the bottom has been redesigned um, so this actually feels more heavier than this one because it's the handles are shaped differently. This one goes more longer, like more elongated, but this one sits more on top and you can sort of control the weight a bit more with, with your hands, which is a lot nicer. This one just feels a lot more nicer to hold, even with I know obviously nothing's attached to it, but it, it, it feels more nicer to hold when everything's on there as well. Um, looks colder as well, doesn't it? Um, the second thing, yeah, so the handle would be the second thing. I don't know if you can see, but the, the, the handles are uh, shaped a little bit different. This one's slightly smaller, but it lets you grip it a bit more. And the, the handle's a bit more rubbery on this. This one's is, it's like, a, it's like a slippery rubber, but this one's really nice and grippy. Second thing is the turbo button. This one, the turbo button's flat. It's just a flat button. Um, there's not really any sort of recess for your finger to sit in. Just a straight button. Whereas this one, um, the whole button is dipped. So it's, your thumb sits in there really nicely. Um, when you click it down, it's really comfortable. And it's quite a satisfying click, to be honest. Uh, that's the second thing. When you're blowing and you sort of You've, you've got the cruise control on full whack. Um, if you just tap the turbo button, you get full power uh, on demand, which is really good. And having just a nicer shape button uh, really helps that. Um, another thing is the cruise control button. This is basically just a wheel with a, a few grooves on it to help you uh, sort of slide it where you want it. Um, but this one, the upgraded one, has basically got like a, a button on it now, which is nice. You can just sort of flick it with your finger uh, and put it where you want it really. It's really, really comfortable and really easy. Other brands that we've got um, have a sort of, you have to pull the trigger in and then press a button. But what I've found with that kind of stuff is when you when you pull on the trigger and then you go to press the button, your fingers move. So you're, you're basically using a speed that you don't really want. This one you just 
you know, it's got about four or five clicks and uh, you put it where you want it and leave it there, it's nice and comfortable. You can add some power as well with the trigger and, and fire up the, uh, the turbo button whenever you need it. So it's uh, it's just a, a, a much better designed, it's like they've taken this one, thought about all the, 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 the not the bad things, but the things that they didn't have on it, or the things that could have been changed to make it better, um, and then incorporated it in this one, um, which from a brand perspective and from a customer perspective is what you want really. The fan on this is slightly bigger, probably that's where the, where the power comes from. The fan is slightly bigger, you probably can't see it from the camera, and I, I can't really get it in there to show you, but the turbine on this is a lot bigger than this but it doesn't actually show it in the machine they're both exactly the same size uh, but this fan's a lot bigger so obviously that's where they're getting some power out of there normally when you've got more power this this old one's 580 CFM um, I think with about 16 to 18 newton meters of torque this one is 650 CFM with 26 newton meters of torque. And normally, when you get that much extra power, you lose a bit of runtime from the battery. But it's not it's not it's not that much depreciated. This this is I'm just going to say that they both got a 5 amp battery in it. This runs um, with higher speed. This runs at about half an hour. This runs at 29 minutes. So you're not getting any any less runtime for extra power. Um, with turbo engaged, I think this one's about. Uh, I'm right. This one is about 17 minutes, I think, and this one's about 16 minutes. So honestly, for that extra power with the same battery, you're not losing out on anything really, um, which is it's what you want. Like I say, normally if you get more of a um, more power from a, a specific machine, you, you sort of have to pay the price and you lose a bit of runtime. But with these ones, you don't, which is really really cool. Get a five year domestic and a two year commercial warranty on the machines, um, which is awesome. Most brands nowadays just like to give you one year commercial because they know that you're going to throw it around. Like I say, these are really bulletproof haven't really had any problems with the blowers whatsoever. Same with the batteries. Um, the batteries have five year um, five year domestic if I'm right and a two to three year commercial. So I think these have got these are these are these are some of the best but I don't talk about batteries but these are some of the best batteries on the market personally. The arc technology is just awesome and uh, I think the main thing to think about with these blowers is that or well, the whole ego range really they're they're all fifty six volts. So um, you're getting the power and you're getting the runtime from it, which is uh, which is brilliant, really. Other machines are 36 volts, and uh, you can just feel the the, the power is not quite there yet, and obviously the runtime isn't quite there yet, being an inferior voltage. If you've got this blower and you're thinking about upgrading or getting another one, definitely replace it with this. Um, or if you haven't got any battery blowers at all. Um, I'd heavily suggest getting either this one or just paying the extra money and getting this one really. This one retails at 160 roughly um, and this retails at 180 to 200. Um, if you if you go onto my Instagram uh, at MikeDayGM um, send me a DM um, and uh, there's some special news that I might be able to uh, I might be able to get you a bit of a better price than that, but well, I can get you a better price. But uh, just send me a DM and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. But um, all in all, obviously the, the, the main focus was comparing both the blowers. They looked very much similar, but um, on a day-to-day -day basis when you're using them, they're, they're, they're quite different. We've got the main difference is obviously the feet. So this sits a lot prouder now, you can take any battery on there. Um, the cruise control, this one's got a nice little switch on it, which is really easy to uh, flick around with your thumb when you're using it. The turbo button, um, it's quite big this button, this one's 
probably about a third of the size um, and it's got a nice recess where your thumb just sits in there um, really nicely bigger fan looks better anyway in my opinion a lot more green on it um, and also we just ordered ourselves some stubby nozzles which are basically about this big and you can use them to um, blow the rain or the, or the water off your car if you're into car washing so they've obviously thought about not just using it for gardeners but for detailers and um, you know people that wash cars and you can if you need to, to, to wash the water quickly and, and get it, get the job done faster you can which is awesome um, so yeah like I say if you're if you're in the market for a battery blower I'd heavily suggest buying this one um, or this one but I mean for the extra money you might as well literally just buy this one it's basically Ego's new, newest newest addition to their fleet um, and you won't be disappointed we've been using this one for, for two years um, and we've been using this one now for about two or well, just under two months and uh, based on the fact that it's basically this machine but better with a few more aesthetic improvements then it's a bit of a no-brainer really I'd have this just one this one hope this helps if you're thinking about investing in some ego equipment or any battery battery blowers this is definitely 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 uh, the platform that you want to be on and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video